take the pleasure of making a toast. I understand Bob made a wonderful toast a month ago when I was sitting in the emergency room at OSU Medical Center. I won't even try to match it because I won't even approach matching it because I understand it's great, but I have a few, a few recollections of Jeanette that I'd like to share. You know, when she first arrived at Supper Club, how many years ago was it? Three, three, three four, three, three four. four. Uh, yeah. yeah. I didn't really know what to make of her. You know, she <laughs> sitting off to the side, she was a, a, a little bit older than we are, mm -hmm. and she was quiet, and so I didn't approach her immediately, and it took me a while to get to know her, and the interval between first seeing her and getting to know her was my loss. Because once I got to know her, to know her really was to love her. I learned some really interesting things about her. She was fascinating, of course, to talk to about World War II. She could talk to you about Normandy from first-hand knowledge which was, of course, something that's increasingly rare. But she was a voracious reader. You know, I, I, I once gave her, because she had lived in Texas, a copy of the first volume of Robert Caro's biography of Lyndon Johnson, Path to Power. It's about 600 and something pages of fine print. I remember when I read it, I loved it. I thought it was a fabulous book, and it probably took me a month, maybe even longer, to get through it. She read it in a week with using a, a magnifying glass. <laughs> wow. And, uh, you know, but a uh, voracious reader that she was, she was equally enthusiastic about writing. I brought something that she wrote. I'm not going to read it because it would take a half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> but I can, I can always rely on when something happened, like when I, this is from when I had back surgery last year, and I always got a note from Jeanette. I'm going to show it to you. Because <laughs> yes. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait for it. There's more. There's more. <laughs> now, that's just the introduction. <laughs> here's, the, here's the letter. Justice has one of those. Oh, wonderful. So, that's so cool. Yeah, it really, it really was cool. And I, I have everything she's ever written. Mm -hmm. yes. I do too, so, David. So do we. It's awesome. Yeah. You know, the other thing about Jeanette was she was she always struck me as really having been kind of a naughty girl whom I would have liked to have known when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> Which of course helps explain Lorena. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and you know, Lorena shared with me a story a few days ago when I was here about Jeanette with some of her favorite music, with some of which you're have heard, I guess, and are going to hear, but one of her favorite songs was the French version of Frank Sinatra singing My Way, mm -hmm. which was Edith Piaf singing No Regrets, you know, Pas de Regret, and apparently Jeanette would sing it at the top of her lungs. <laughs> yep. So, I wanted to just, just to close, um, it's a little unusual to, to be talking so much about France on Oktoberfest and to be having Oktoberfest for... Uh, Viva la France! Uh, Viva la France! <laughs> so, we're going to share with you what are my two or so favorite minutes from cin of cinema that show the, or illustrate the intersection between Jeanette and Oktoberfest. <laughs> We're right. This is about lightning. Well, it's making people think there's beer in our great tasting sauce. <laughs>
people of Rawls. The cost of life. <laughs> you know, an, an, inter an interesting piece of trivia about that is that none of the tears in the actors and actresses' eyes were scripted. It was filmed while France was, in fact, still occupied, and lots of the actors and actresses were French, and the tears were real. You want some of this? No. It's very good. So, in any case, after that, okay. what is there to say except, Jeanette, here's looking at you, kid. Yeah. Oh, nice. Cheers. 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 That was awesome. Are we going to share any stories? Like I would love to. So, oh, oh my dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, um, Jeanette was not a mom to me. She became a close friend. Okay, there's Kleenex over there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you. That um, I was sitting here. She was sitting there uh, a few years ago. Uh, it was her first Oktoberfest, and Lorena was fussing around, and I was talking to. Jeanette, because I love old people. <laughs> she was old. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and so, um, you know, we started hanging out weekly. Yeah, weekly. And I just let her guide what she wanted to do, which was always going to be half off books and goodwill. Yep. In fact, as I would be putting her in the car and I'm like, where else do you want to go? She'd go, goodwill, and I'd be, of course. <laughs> so, um, uh, our last time together, um, she wanted to go to Panera. We had been going to Panera. We were pulling in and she got out her little change purse, whatever, and said, now, I'm getting my money ready, so you can just go order and I can be, I'm sorry, <laughs> at the table. I'm sorry. And I said, that's fine but you're not buying lunch. I am not going to take advantage of you. She goes, you are. I'm buying lunch. And I said, then I'm not going to eat. <laughs> and she goes, then you'll starve. <laughs> and that's I didn't expect to love her, <laughs> but I did. I did. So I have a story, and it's very, it's very short. My son's not here because he loves her too. Uh -huh. He said I can't. Yep. Aww. That's yeah. it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're not that telling was her a story. No, that was a story. It was a story. Very short. Mom, but I mean, he's 14. Adored her. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. I think that's a big. Thing. Who didn't? Right. Yeah, but I thought you were going to say when she opened her change purse, a common fill out. <laughs> I, I heard the crazy story. The time she bashed some man, well, this is in France, uh, she was living with her aunt and uncle, and um, Some, and her uncle worked for the bank, and so um, her aunt said, hey, we're going to be out of town, but this guy is coming by for something, and you got to be careful because he's kind of a womanizer. And she was like, oh, I'll take care of him. <laughs> she and so she said... She came out of her bedroom, there was the guy, 
and he said a couple things that she responded to, and then he grabbed her, and she said, and then I said to him, you will not get me, you lech, and hit him with her purse. <laughs> so, uh, she, she had such great stories, and I will write them out, because I've looked at her journal, and that doesn't include everything. Oh, no. Yeah. So, uh, last year I gave Mom a book, <coughs> and it says, Mom, tell me your story. She started to fill it out, and I didn't think she had finished it, but Bob found it and told me she did finish it. Oh, In the no. last few months here, she did take it and finish it, so Jodell's making copies. Yes, oh, and oh. I will tell you the last time we got together, which was, now here's the weird part. We got together the day before you guys Left for Texas. went to Texas. Yeah. And she had told me, um, you know that book I've been filling out for Lorena and Jerome? I said, yeah. She goes, I just finished it. I said, okay. <clears throat> of course, I used to sneak her with the ice cream. Oh, yeah. And I would take the evidence home. <laughs> and Mom was a borderline diabetic, oh, so that was, this is why we were strict with the shirt. I know, I tried, I'm a nurse, but I couldn't help it. Um, so, um, she, um, I just lost my train of thought. What was I saying? Day before. Oh, uh, day, day before, before yeah. So, um, we had gone, done our stuff, and we pulled in here, and I kind of helped her in, because usually at that point, Bob and Marina would come out or, you know, kind of help her in. And so, um, we kissed each other, we told each other we loved each other, and we did. And this had never happened to me, but when I pulled out, I thought, I don't know that she's coming back. And then I thought to myself, Jodell, you're such a drama queen. You know, of course yeah. she's coming back. But, so when Lorena called right away, I thought, oh my God. So mom passed the day we were coming home, mm -hmm. back to, you know, from Texas. We had had, we were selling our house out there. We had had, in two days, we had had 40 some showings. We already had multiple over list offers and it was just tremendous. And she just decided to take her own way home. Yes. And Candy came in and yep. your mom was dressed. Yep. Packed. Yep. Sitting. In the chair, eyes wide open, and barefoot gone. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm mad at her, but that's okay. Because well, makes a couple of before, before we return to Oktoberfest, Marty and Jeannie asked me to share that they have two wonderful memories of Jeanette. Marty's memory is, excuse me, that she always had a smile on her face and a beer in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> And Jeannie's memory is that she looked so lovely in her bright colored scarves, which yeah. made her eyes sparkle, which you can certainly see. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. she always, what she told me was, because I bought her a scarf, she's like, French women always wear scarves. So, I don't know. I just, I miss her. Yeah. I have many good memories now like I've got the memories of quite frankly of an old woman who's trying to get into heaven and Who made? Uh, well Who we're made all it? in that but um, I didn't have drama or anything else with her I just had the good part of her so, and she loved you. I know, I loved her too. <laughs> and there 
here's to Lorena and Bob and William who gave us a master class yes. on how to love and care for their elders. Oh, yeah. yes. oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Excellent. I, I told my cousin, I said, Bob and Lorena did the utmost for her mother. Were there people, or are there people that have done that? Possibly, but there's nobody who's topped it. And so, um, good for you guys. Good for you guys. Are you listening, William? <laughs> Jeanette always, even when I would pick her up and she might be in a bad mood, I'm like, are you grumpy today? She goes, a little. <laughs> but she always came around and said she was so grateful and thankful that she was where she was and that you guys were caring for her. Because we're not all going to have that. Part of this group, she loved the supper club. So. Oh, she did, and she was a party animal. Oh my gosh, yes, yeah, she was. So, in that, in her honor, I think we need to transition now to Oktoberfest. Let's oh yeah, see. I haven't eaten all day. I'm starving, <laughs> and I'm tricky, so I need to eat. <laughs> and I just gotta say to uh, Michael and Danielle. These darn things are pretty good. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, cue the music. Cue the music. Let's go back to France. Or Germany. Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest.